Okay guys, how you doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. Also the inventor of the Fusion Silver Fusion Black, the Platinum 4K Cinema, and the Silver Ultimate 4K, sorry, got that mixed a little bit. The Silver Ultimate 4K Cinema. Also to the Future Tech Screens, which are freaking amazing. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys something really interesting now. This is what I see when I see demonstrations of people using uh, everyday household uh, uh, paint mixtures and usually they tint these mixtures with a little bit of black. They put a little black in there and they tint it to make it uh, look a little darker or to make it a little lighter but there's nothing different about these screen paints. And I'm gonna show you in this demonstration why there's nothing different because here's the thing. When you look at a lot of these demonstrations, not all of them, when you look at a lot of these demonstrations, it's the same, same uh, scenario. It is a very dark environment or dim environment. They never show you exactly how far that projector is sitting back from the screen. Now, if that projector is sitting back, what's the difference? Just think about it. what is the difference of the projector sitting nine feet than the projector sitting back 20 feet? So is there a difference between your screen's um, uh, performance if the projector is sitting back 20 feet? Is it the same as 20? Is it the same as nine? All right, so we're gonna do that demonstration here. Also, too, we're gonna to show you exactly that, the worth of the screen. Now, usually, most people, and of all people, probably all people, want the best and the top screens when it comes to their projector. You're gonna spend the money for a good projector, you want a good screen to match. Now, usually when it comes to these big boy high-end screens like Supernova and so forth, these screens are, can be very expensive. We're talking about four to $5,000 for a screen. Some are 3,000, some are 2,000. It's still very expensive. So some people will lean towards screen paint because they'll say that, hey, look, it's cheaper. You know, some of these paints are like 50, some are $80. Now, you guys are probably thinking, but you designed screen paint. Yes, we did. We did design screen paint. And the difference between our technology and some of these cheap brands out here is that in our demonstrations, we did demonstrations against Supernova. We did demonstrations against Elite Screens. We did demonstrations against the Firehawk G4 and so forth. We even did demonstrations against one screen, which I can't mention because of a court order. But anyway, we did the 500 watt bar light on these screens. We did demonstrations that people would never do. I even put my screen against an HD TV and beat it. So that is the difference between our technology because we test our technology. We just don't slap something together, do, do some 4K upscaling or 1080p projectors or high performance projectors, dark environments and all that other nonsense to make the screen look good. Now here's the thing, I'm gonna show you. Now, we have some screen paint mix, J-Mix, uh, on the, uh, right here, right in front of us. Now we have it right here at, we're gonna go back, show you the projector. We got it back at 20 feet away from the screen, we're 20 feet. Now, you're curious, usually I think where his projector might be mounted to the ceiling. Now when a projector's mounted to a ceiling, it is in a comfortable position. Now, just because it's mounted at nine or eight feet, is it gonna perform the same way if you have it back at 20 feet? See, that's the questions you don't ask. These are the questions you need to ask. Project Some people have these projectors, especially using a long throw, and you're trying to get like 150 inch. You gotta pull that projector back pretty far. Some about 17, some 18, some 12, some 13, some 15. In between that, it has to be back. I, got a, I did a projector at eight feet back of BenQ MS500. I got an 80 inch screen out of it. So somebody's trying to go with a 200 inch screen. How can you sell them a product saying that it is going to uh, work on 200 inches at 20 feet back if you never tested it on 200 inches at 20 feet back? Even with a short throw, if you have a short throw, everybody knows that a short throw when it hits the screen, the bigger the screen, the pixelations will have to expand, the picture quality starts to diminish. So what is the difference of having on a 100 inch? Well, a 100 inch, the screen is a little bit more smaller, pixelations are more tighter, the picture's gonna be a lot more sharper. You didn't think about that, did you? So anyway, what happens is, what is the difference between your screen? Is the picture quality gonna change if you have it on a 100 inch compared to a screen you're gonna have it on 200 inches? Is the picture quality gonna change if you have it at nine feet compared to picture quality coming back at 20 feet? So I'm gonna show you in this demonstration. Now, you look at the screen right there at 20 feet, you're thinking, some people would accept this, saying it looks fantastic, I see nothing wrong with it. The problem is, is that you're seeing a dirty image, but you don't realize it until you see something superior. This is why it's very important to test your screens against high-end uh, projection screen samples. So you can see the flaws that your screen has, and you're able to beat these flaws. 
to make your screen, to tweak it, to make it better. But if you don't do these demonstrations, then the problem you have is you just have an everyday, normal, just mixture of screen paint. That's all it is. So anyone can go out and just make this. Why well, pay somebody $50 to $80 when you can just make your own? Now, I made my own right here. Now, the funny thing about this, Mr. J, really quick before I go on with this video, is the fact that the paint that you thought was yours was not yours. It was used in a previous demonstration to show people that they don't have to pay $50 to $80 to make your paint. If you check the video at the bottom of the comments section and look at the timestamp on it, you will see that we made that video before any of this came to be before you went on your little rant. You'll notice that we use that mixture to match it against your paint. So, you just advertise to everybody on your channel how to make a cheaper and a better, trust me, I'm gonna show you this is better than his mix. On top of that, you can get it at under $40 a gallon. Now mind you, if you're just looking for a cheap fix, you don't care about whatever you, how, you, how it's gonna look in your environment, just keep in mind that nine feet on that screen looks good but if you pull it back any more farther than nine feet the screen is going to start to diminish the color it's going to look pretty pretty bad it's going to come up dirty so you know i don't see the point of going out and spending the money for a very good projector if you're just going to produce it or project it on a crappy surface i don't get that one all right so it's like saying hey i'll take the lamborghini but if you, you know you can take that engine out and put like you know like a kia engine in it nothing against kias but come on a kia engine and a lamborghini I mean, come on really all right so let's uh start the demonstration we are going to show off just a little bit of skin tones right here i've done this before now look at the skin tones on the white wall Look at the skin tones on the screen at 20 feet back. Now, we're going to stop here. This particular video, we're going to go back over here. I'm going to do this as fast as possible because I have a lot of work on my plate, guys. I really do. You know, I have, like I told you, I have contracts outside of YouTube and if you guys knew exactly what was going on you would see why you know my life is a little crazy can't say too much about it but all I can say is yeah all right so here we are we got some pretty flowers and we are around like I said you guys are probably gonna sing it which still looks good you know the flowers has a deep contrast level it looks fantastic no the screen's dirty that's it it's dirty and you're looking at this right now thinking that looks really good Kent you're wrong that's 20 feet back man that is impressive in a fully lit room and again you're not used to seeing good technology if you're agreeing on that you're not used to seeing good technology now I'm going to take uh, the Seymour AV 1.3 at 20 feet back and I'm going to put it right here in the middle right there okay I'm going to step back Hit the demonstration now you see that pink area right there or that orange area that is the color that the screen is actually supposed to be see how bright and beautiful that looks from way back here that is the color of your screen that's where it's supposed to be now now you notice when you look at this that the paint now looks dirty but before without the um the advanced uh, um, screen uh, projection screen against it it looked normal see how you can make out everything look at that now let's go back here and let's grab the skin tone demonstration all right All right, let's go here. Now we're gonna come back here a little bit. And we are going to start about right there. That is the actual color of skin tone.
Now, we'll pause it right here. Come over here real quick. I've done this demonstration too many times. We're going to take this, we're going to put it right about there near the mouth. There we go. Let's step back here a moment. Seymour AV 1.3, 20 feet back on a 2000 lumen projector. Mine, here's my projector right here. NEC BT595 projector, 2000 lumen 720p, 600 by 800 res. I'm pretty sure the Epson is much more advanced than this screen right here. And again, we are 20 feet away from the screen. Now, as you can see, the picture quality looks horrible at 20 feet back. <clears throat> now, keep in mind, any screen paint that does not pass these demonstrations shows you that it's nothing different, nothing new. It's just an everyday bunches of mi different mixes or measurements of everyday house paint or whatever they add into it and just a little bit of black because there's no hardcore evidence showing that the product is anything different. If it was anything different, you would see very high results from it, but this is what you're getting. Now, you see this right here? Now, mind you, we are going to take the future tech. Now I can come over and say, hey look, guess what? The future tech at 20 feet back. I'm going to show you exactly what it looks like at 20 feet back. And not only that, we're going to take the Seymour AV 1.3. We're going to lay it against our screen. I'm going to show you a difference. I'm going to show you now I'm going to show you how it's done. That's the Seymour AV 1.3. It turned the, no, I'm sorry, that's not, I'm sorry, my bad. That is the 47 AG. Now the 47 AG has turned the Seymour AV 1.3 dark at 20 feet back. Look what it does to the screen paint. It turns it dirty at 20 feet back. Now I can say to my customer, if he goes, hey, look, the 47 AG, if I had that screen back about 25 feet, if I have it 20 feet back, if I have it 20 feet back, because we haven't tested 25, but I'll do it at 25 soon. Because if we have it at 20 feet back, how is your screen going to react? Well, it's going to look fantastic. It's going to look fantastic. As a matter of fact, if you want and you want to test it out, you can take a sample sheet of the Seymour AV 1.3 any other screen out there and you can put it against that screen and guess what? It will look better. I can say that because right here I can back it up. You can't say that about screen paint because certain forms of screen paint because it doesn't work. Now, let's come over here real quick. We are going to just grab that color demonstration with those pretty flowers over here. We want to hit this real quick. Now you look at our screen right there. See a difference? The 47 AG is producing a better picture and color than the white wall. 20 feet back. Show me a difference in your technology. You can't do it because your technology is just everyday, ordinary house paint. That's all it is. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to give the screens an advantage point. Well, actually, the um, we don't need the advantage point. We're going to give the um, the screen paint an advantage, a bit of a um, uh, usually I get uh, not advantage point. Well, yeah, I guess you can say it's advantage point. We're going to set the projector here up at. Sorry, I'm going to put my camera right here for a minute. I do apologize. Just put you there for a minute, okay? All right, and I'm going to move my projector up. my projector up around nine feet that's what the two measuring tapes were for so we're going to move the projector up nine feet so now the projector is sitting around nine feet from the screen now mind you keep in mind if a person's projector is mounted to their ceiling and they're showing off demonstrations how do you know how the screen is going to react at 20 feet back or over nine feet back all right, so you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm gonna put this right here, and I'm gonna bring the projector back, maybe a good, let's be nice here. I'm gonna bring it back 10 feet. Can I get 10 feet out of this? If I can get 10 feet, yes. My measuring tape's a little broken. All right, now, we are gonna do 10 feet back. 
but I did, we want to be generous here. Usually when you see these demonstrations, their projectors are a little closer than 10 feet. But now we got about 10 feet. And we're going to go back to the demonstration. Now at 10 feet back, you're looking at this and you're thinking, wow, that screen paint looks amazing. Again, the screen's dirty, but you don't see it. Now, as you've seen already, the projector, anything over, anything back to about uh, uh, over uh, 10 feet back, or not 10 feet back, sorry, about maybe, the screen might look good at maybe around 12 feet at the most, maybe 13, but anything farther back than that, the screen's gonna start to diminish. I think that looks good, right? All right, now, we are gonna take the Seymour AV 1.3. Okay, oh, wait, 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 I forgot, sorry about that. I gotta do two sets to this, guys, gotta be fair here. Let's go back and let's grab, pause this for a minute. Let me just shut off that demonstration. We'll go back to the other one where the skin tones are. We'll blow that one up. I want you to look at the skin tones with the projector sitting up at now 10 feet from the screen. It's a huge difference in the picture quality, isn't there? This is why you have to do these tests. Huge difference. Now, keep in mind, this, Get that off of there. Get off of there. Really? Seriously? Any other day I can't get you to stick, but the day you stick. All right, there we go. Jeez. That sample sheet's going crazy over here. All right. Yeah, it's my dirty table. I got to clean it too. I haven't had time. All right, so right here, this is the screen paint I made. Now, Mr. J, I want to explain something to you. Uh, the screen paint that you actually advertise on your channel, that's not your mix. That's actually a mix that we basically sh were demonstrating to show people that you don't have to pay 50 to $80 uh, for your screen paint mix. They can make it themselves. And actually, you can make a gallon of it at that with a little bare 1050, um, some flat black paint, and some of that semi-gloss. You can make it yourself. Uh, bottom line is you advertised it. Now, check out the video at the bottom of the comments section. I want you to look at the time and date stamp on that video that we posted. It was before you went into your little rant. So it just shows you that no that's not your screen paint mix that is showing somebody how to make it make a um their own screen paint mix and not pay the 40 to 80 and get a better looking screen now here's the same mix that we used i'm gonna put it right here but thank you for sharing that with your customers and those who want to you know if you want a cheaper screen you really don't care about the technology in your screen then i would say you know, go down the lines of getting, of making that paint. But like I said, there's no point in spending the money for a good projector if you're just going to be using a, um, a, uh, a crappy screen paint to begin with. Now, if you notice the screen paint mixture, which Mr. J was kind enough to show off on his um, video, thinking it was his, but he was kind enough to show off on his video on how to make that particular mix. This is the mix we made. Now, check, I said, check the timestamp on the video below, and you'll see that the date on that was before he basically posted the video and before we posted the video uh, showing uh, these dirty paint downstairs. Now, if you notice, look at the picture quality. It has a better skin tone. The paint we made at actually under $40 has a better skin tone than the $50 to $80 paint that he made. And this is not using any form of 4K upscaling or anything, none of that nonsense to begin with. Now, you probably think, well, why would you show that off? Because that means you lose business. Not really, because we have customers who want the best when it comes to their high performance projectors, their home theater. If you're gonna spend all that money for a home theater sound system, the whole nine yards, you want the best picture quality, right? So with the messy screen paints, I'm gonna show you this. Now I'm going to come over here and show you the Seymour AV 1.3. We are going to put that right here over the top. All right, so you can see this. Now this is the reason why people pay the money for a Seymour AV 1.3. Now you see how bright the skin tone is? Seymour AV 1.3 turns the dirty paint dirty and look what it does to the uh, screen paint we design for under $40. It's better, a lot better. Now, watch this. I'm going to take the 47AG. I'm going to take Seymour AV 1.3, put it here. 
Sorry, guys. There are somebody said, "Won't you invest in a tripod?" Uh, no, I don't feel the need to get one. I'm, I'm, I'm used to doing this. You know what I mean? It makes my videos a lot more realistic. I like it. I don't take a lot of change, but yes, I do. <laughs> if I did, I'm going to develop a new technology. Okay, so this right here is the screen paint that we were telling you that you can make for under forty dollars. Now, mind you, it's sitting against a forty-seven AG. Now, look at the quality of our screen compared to the dirty paint at 10 feet back. Look at it against the cheap screen paint we told you to make because it is what it is, it's cheap paint. That's all it is. So it's not gonna have the best quality picture. You know what I mean? It's not. Compared to a more advanced uh, screen, it's not gonna have it. Now, this is just to show you, what is the point of you going out and spending the money for a good projector if you're only gonna get 30 to 40 percent of your projector's capability. Don't bother going online and looking at all the specifications and looking for the best projector you can get, contrast level, color. Don't even bother with it. If you're going to basically just use a cheap, crappy screen paint that has not been tested, there is no point in you going out and spending the money for that projector because you're not going to get the quality out of that projector. You're only going to get 30 to 40 percent. Now you look at that 47 AG. I'm using an outdated projector, an SVGA. A, I think, no, it's an X, XGX, I think it's a, oh, sorry, it's not SVGA, something else. I'll, I'll look it up, I'll get the specs on it. But this is a 2000 lumen, uh, VT, sorry, sorry, um, any, <laughs> bit of a stutter of the tongue here, guys, I'm very tired, I have work to do. But it's the NEC VT595 projector at 2000 lumens. It's a very cheap projector, man. I mean, you can get this projector for $35, $25, 50 60 This doesn't cost, you would never find this projector for $500. And if you do, I would not buy it because this projector was made in 06. It's an old projector. And I'm pretty sure if you look at your projector specifications and the specifications on this projector, your projector's better. Now, if you're going to go down that route of basically spending the money, doing the research to get a really good projector to end up with this mess, you know what I mean? Look at the product of the 47 AG. And mind you, the technology we have in Future Tech is also embedded in our platinum 4K cinema screens, our blackout cloths, our fixed screen screens, even the silver ultimate 4K. And if you've seen the Fusion, the Fusion Black is flawless. But like I said, you might just go out and get a cheap Chinese knockoff projector, you know what I mean, or some kind of unnamed brand projector because there's no point in you basically spending that kind of money. And this just shows you exactly how these so-called screen paints that don't do proper testing, this is what they add up to. Now, let's remove this really quick. As a matter of fact, let me do one more before I sign off out of here. Just in case if my time runs on my camera, just want to add him, Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Screens. I hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you for watching, but that's just saying it pre ahead of time. Just in case if um, my time runs out here. Now, I'm going to do the flower demonstration again. We're nine feet back. Just to show you how beautiful that screen looks. Now, if a customer comes up to me and says, hey, look, how is my projector going to perform on your screen? I can honestly say it's going to look fantastic. You know why? Because I test my screens on crappy projectors. There's a 100% chance that your projector is way better than the projector I'm using. I don't use 4K upscaling. I use fully lit rooms. My screens have 500 watt bar lights taped to them. They're hit with 100 uh, um, um, watt spotlights. Now you might consider that to be a joke, but there's some big company who has well lit, a well lit environment with a lot of extreme lighting will look at that as, you know what, I'm buying product from this man. But from you, no. Due to the fact that if you have a screen paint that can't perform under these kind of demonstrations, then there's no point in buying it make it yourself you know what I mean like I said now watch I'm gonna show you to see how dark our paint got that's our mix right there this right here if I can find it really quick before my time runs out on here I think I have a sample of it laying around here somewhere if I don't I'll do another video on it I can't find anything in this messy mess all these sample sheets I am gonna tell you something too for anyone who sits there and says Oh, well, you know what? I can't get the sample sheets. Yes, you can. You can go right out there and you can get the sample sheets. Same sample sheets that we got. You can go out and get the same thing too. 
Now, mind you, this right here is a sample of the J-Mix right here. We're gonna take our screen, put it right there. It's gonna be a little crooked, but we don't care. All right, and we're gonna put it right there. If it'll stick, hopefully it sticks. All right, back up here real quick because my time on my camera's running out. There you go. Against a 47 AG. And please do not send me messages by saying, hey, well, how does it compare with the lights out? Are you kidding me? If the screen looks fantastic with the lights on, why would I have to do a demonstration with the lights off? Wouldn't you think it'd be harder to do a demonstration with the screen with the lights on than one with the lights off? <sighs> but anyway, so this is the reason why our technology gets NDA. This is the reason why we get license agreements, due to the fact that our technology, can, we can back it up. But you know, you'll see, you'll see screens, like I said, let me move mine out of the way here. You'll see screens back away, screen paints will back away from these demonstrations. And not only will they back away from these demonstrations, but they'll put up little jokes, like they'll do little parodies of, of us doing our demonstrations and, you know, thumbs up to make it look funny and all that. That's because you are basically using humor to shy away from a real demonstration. And that's a shame when a customer takes his time out to spend for your product and you haven't properly done the test. All right. Come here for a minute. I'm just going to grab this real quick. Now, I'm going to show you something. I'm going to show you something really interesting before I sign off here. Now, the white snow scene. Look at the white snow scene on the screen paint at not at 10 feet up. If you notice, the wall is brighter than the, uh, the screen paint. Now, if you notice in the video he just did this demonstration on, his wall is red. How in the world would you know the difference between a white surface and his screen? If basically, if you just shine it on his surface alone, you should have put a white piece of paper up against your screen to show the difference of your screen versus a white surface. Now, I'm going to show you something. Here's a white piece of paper right here. I'm going to lay this against that screen paint right here. Put it right there. So we're going to lay it in. Okay. Oopsie. Should have stayed, but it didn't stay. Okay. A little more. There we go. Now, watch this. I want you to look at this Mr. J very carefully. Do you notice that white sheet of paper is brighter than your screen? See that? See how white that white piece of paper is? Now, I want you to look at something Mr. J very carefully so you can understand what true technology looks like. We're going to take the 47AG we're going to take that white sheet of paper and we're going to put it right next on the 47 AG. And I want you to look at this very carefully. And I challenge you to do the same thing our screen just did. Our screen just turned the white sheet of paper dark. Not only did it turn the white sheet of paper dark, but look what it did to your screen. Look what it did to the white wall. Now, I'm asking you to do the exact same demonstration. No joking, no tap dancing, no clown routines. Seriously, same demonstration. I would love to see your screen, the one you had, you did with the white snow scene, turn a white sheet of paper that color. Now, you can't do it. That just proves that your technology is just like everybody else's. It just is what it is, man. But I'm gonna show you something really interesting really quick. You know what? I think I'm gonna sign off here. I'm gonna sign off here. Cause it's it's getting too easy for me. I'm gonna sign off right here. Hold on for me, hold on. One more, one more, one more. Seymour AV 1.3. Uh, let's see if we got anything else around here. Oh, 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 I forgot. We got another one you got up here. We have the 1.5 gain of a gray cinema 5D.